probably wasn't uh, not who you were expecting. You know, I'm here, you're here, you clicked, you watched through the intro. Uh, might as well roll with it. Now today I want to show you how to make rabbit beef jerky. Rabbit jerky? We can throw, you know, scratch the beef. Wendy's got plenty of that. So in front of me I have a giant bowl of, um, I think what the scientists call uh, bolipticus flapticus, which uh, we like to call it belly flaps. When you process a rabbit, um, and if you process it the right way, <laughs> um, you cut down, you know, the belly, and then you just open it up and there are these two flaps that you open up before disposing of the innards. But you cut those off and you get belly flaps. Now, I love using these and only these for rabbit jerky because instead of having to uh, cut into the like the, the carcass or the loin to get those really thin pieces of meat, uh, you just have belly flaps right here. They're thin. I mean, you could try to pound them out thinner, but I mean, they're perfect. Um, so what we're gonna do with these is we're going to marinate them. Now, I typically have a, like a formula or um, a marinade that I make myself. Okay, so this is my recipe for a pretty simple marinade uh, for a classic beef jerky flavor. One fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, one fourth cup of soy sauce. We like it uh, dark soy sauce. You can get that at about Asi any Asian grocery store. One fourth cup of sweet soy sauce, or you could just use brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes for that spice. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, or you could use about two to three minced cloves of garlic. Half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it all together in a jar or a container of your choice. Uh, mix it all up really good and store it in the fridge for later. Uh, but I decided to go a little bit, you know, uh, go in a little bit of a different direction. Uh, we're gonna use two marinades that I bought. Um, I'm feeling uh, teriyaki uh, rabbit jerky. You can't, you can't go wrong with teriyaki and I just got this cheap thing from Kroger. And we're also having a big old bottle of stubs. Uh, which includes all of the ingredients that I listed previously. Uh, so we just got to put these bad boys in a bag and uh, put some marinade in there and we'll get started. I really like these food saver bags. We actually preserve a lot of the rabbit um, that we have in these food saver bags. Actually, come here, come here. I, I want to show you I something. I don't think these are food saver bags. I think they're just off brand. Oh, wait. They're literally called oh, food yeah, saver. Oh, yeah, they do. They say food saver. <laughs> Follow me. I got something to show you. Um, I don't know if you've seen our freezer, our big old chest freezer, a really wise investment. But uh, here's where we keep our uh, meat, uh, fish sticks, vegetables, and a myriad of other stuff um, right inside this giant freezer. We uh, had uh, Tiffany's parents uh, raise a pig for us. Have you, have you ever seen anything more beautiful in your life? <laughs> I haven't. But uh, we keep rabbit in the food saver bags, and uh, they look like gigantic shrimp, uh, but they are rabbit, I promise. Mm. Ah, I messed it up. Jameson. That'll do. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna seal this, of course, but um, we'll go ahead and seal one part of the bag, and this, like, you, you do you. You want to put it in a bowl, which is probably the smarter option. You do that. But I like these bags, and I really like that I can kind of take the air out of it so that the marinade really envelops the meat. So uh, this part is sealed. And a uh, trick with these is you want a double seal. Um, it's a uh, heavy meat or just like pokey stuff with bones especially uh like to destroy the seals on these so it's actually in the instructions that you double seal sometimes to keep everything in uh good rule to follow uh, so we're going to take half of these belly flaps put them in here and uh we'll go with the stubs um and uh then we'll move over to the teriyaki put it in there gently there gently. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Softer. Yeah. Jimson, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I think 
<laughs> All right, so I think that's good enough. Um, we'll go ahead and put in the stubs. I'm really curious to see what a marinade tastes like that's you know, not mine. Uh, but I trust the experts. It has a brand label. It's being sold in stores. It must be legit, right? So off goes that. Just kind of. Oh, you're just winging it. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> so we'll go ahead, let that go. We'll suck a little bit of the air out, but not enough to where it's sucking up the marinade. Yeah, because I just sanitized the... There we go, give it a good seal. All right, so that one's done. Give that a good shake, good mix. All right, let's just take a picture for the thumbnail here. No, oh, the girls. I think we're done here. Yeah. All right, so that's good. Uh, we'll put that in the fridge in just a little bit. Still got to get the teriyaki out here. Okay, so we have our bags of marinated, marinating uh, belly flaps here. <laughs> We're going to let this sit in the fridge between 12 and 24 hours. It'll be closer to 15. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this tomorrow. We're just going to uh, flip to me, turning on the smoker. From when we put the uh, flaps in the fridge, uh, marinating it's been uh, approximately 15, 16 hours, a uh, really good time to marinate. Just plugged in our smoker. We're gonna want that at a very low temperature of 200, so I'll be checking it every so often. And yeah, these are gonna go for more hours than you would to actually cook a rabbit for food or for a meal. Uh, so plenty of chips for sure to smolder. So when I put the uh, marinade in yesterday, I put them in these uh, decent sized bowls. Um, it's sort of, Works with gravity to uh, push the marinade in and coat everything instead of just lying flat. Uh, so we're gonna cut these open, uh, get rid of some of that excess, and uh, put them on the rack. At this point, we'll go ahead and put these in the smoker um, and wait for it to get up to temp and adjust as we go. We'll have to keep an eye on it every, you know, half hour, hour or so to make sure that it's at a low enough temperature. 200 degrees um, is a, a really good temperature. It's low um, and it go for a while. It's not really meant to cook. It's more like to dry it out. Now it looks a little nasty, but that just means it's being used for its intended purpose, making delicious food. Okay, so the jerky has been going for about three hours. Um, I started the temperature on 200 degrees. This is because I wanted to actually cook the raw rabbit that's been marinating. Um, after about an hour, you want to take the temperature down to between 160 and 180 degrees. Um, and right now, I'm looking at it and... Uh, it's about at 180, so uh, we're going to take a look, uh, see how it did. Um, here we go. Beautiful. Look at that color. Oh. So in the end, we're left with a beautiful color. Um, I really can't wait to uh, bite into this, but we got to let it cool first. I'm going to pat these dry. You got little pools of uh, moisture, maybe a little fat, uh, marinade still coming out of the pieces. And after it's uh, cooled and dried out just a little bit more, we'll take a bite. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now that I've let this uh, dry out for uh, just a little bit and cool down, uh, time for the taste test. We'll start with the um, teriyaki flavor. <laughs> you know what, we, we cooked it and we let that dry out for a bit. And it still is just so juicy. It's not like that package beef jerky where it's like really, really chewy. It's actually tender and has flavor and it's just so much better. It feels so much more fun to eat. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, um, let's try the, um, I guess what you would call the regular beef jerky flavor. I'm guessing this one's gonna have a more of a kick to it because of the, um, you know, the pepper, red pepper, red chili, garlic. Let's give it a try. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's got that kick to it. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the best batch. It just, You've, you've got to try this. If you process rabbit, um, and you, uh, you got to try this at home. In fact, I think uh, I would prefer to let this go for another hour, smoke in there for just another hour to dry out just a little bit more. I think it would just basically achieve perfect jerky texture, but it's so good. You got to try the teriyaki one. I already did. <laughs> this was mine. Came in here shortly after you brought it in. And just <laughs> <laughs> you just started eating it. It's very good, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Enjoy your jerky, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. It's a lime. <laughs>